Yep. Yeah. Whatever you say. Those look like children vacuuming. This isn't a game. When we were cleaning up one day, we found a book. I don't, I don't know any Japanese, so. And I love for reading started, and we found out that our vacuum cleaner was sentient. And some Tinkerbell like fairy came out of the book and said we had to keep cleaning. So I squished her inside the book. Well, somebody squished her inside the book. Exactly. I will turn you into a jet or a robot if you fight this evil guy for me. You, your sister, and your sentient vacuum cleaner. Anyway, uh, I guess I should introduce what this video is. Wow, the kids are gone. Oh. Uh, Raptor Reward was one of the Raptor Rewards today. Today being August 7th, 2012. Was. I'm not going to butcher this name and mispronounce it, so. You know, just hold the criticisms, because I just don't know how to pronounce it. Kyun? I don't know. K Y U I I N. I don't know. Kyun? That's. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be corrected. If anybody watches this. So maybe I won't be. Nobody watches these. Oh, I'm missing a song. When I was a kid, I used to dream about flying on a vacuum cleaner, too. Never quite came to fruition, though. Yeah, pump that fist, son. Yeah. This is like post mode 7. This is on some whole other stuff. Right? This is mode. That was mode 7.8. I think that's the antagonist. The long fingernails just gives it what? Okay, I have no idea what's going on, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, we, we understand the kids are the good, the good people, I guess, and the person with the long fingernails is not. Uh, don't even know what I'm picking here. This is kind of a nice giveaway for Raptor, though, as I probably never would have uh, seen anything about this game anywhere else. And now I'm killing birds, seemingly innocent birds, in the sky. I'm that dude. And that, whatever that thing is, looks like, uh... What's his name? Goebbels from uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. I think that's his name. This is pretty magical, I have to say. It's kind of enchanting in a way. Power ups. Nice. Take that, you bees. Mm. 
mean, I don't have enough shmup, so I definitely like uh, getting shmup and free just for playing games. It's like a reward in and of itself. And now there's some giant princess face. So I shoot her in the face. Hey. Watch it. That's why you're shrinking and disappearing. Look at me, I did this too. Play bar. Alright, more birds to kill. Killing the birds and all these twisty things. This game is wacky. I like it though. Not like showing Nikki wacky. That's not quite on that level. And of course, because this game. I might have thought about this. Wasn't the Vita supposed to get, um. PS, uh, PS1 game compatibility this summer. I thought, you know, maybe July or so. I don't think anything's happened on that front. So I'm wondering what PS1 games that they've given me, chances are, after uh, PlayStation Plus, or games like this from Raptor will be playable on the Vita. That'll be kind of nice. We're now at a point where we're waiting, we're excited for games we already own to be played on the Vita. Thus, somehow making it worth having. Even though many of these games are still played on a PSP. Yeah, the Vita's not in a good place right now. That vacuum cleaner is hot. That's, I need one of those. I could clean up, clean up the world and the house. Just, you know. That's about multitasking. You know, these giant axes are. Suits of armor will do something. I got. I like this music. Oh, giant frog! Get it! Kill it! it must be evil. Oh. Whoa! I don't move fast enough to respond to that kind of stuff. killed me. Uh, huh? I'm confused. I think I just wasted something. Some kind of power-up. Ah, oh, spreader gun. That's what killed me with stupid bubbles. Of course I lost my power-up. Mm. Those bubbles are no joke. Of these buttons too. I haven't tried on any button except X. And a D-pad, obviously. Make sure it worked with this frog. Oh man. There we go. That spreader gun really helped.
Where that little princess thing come from? I'm not looking for logic in this. The children floating on vacuum cleaners. Shooting birds and giant frogs in the face. Level 2. Now I'm shooting little angel cherubs? Whatever. What does this do? The square button does that. I don't know what that does. Is it... It's not draining any kind of meter or anything. Oh, it just hits things behind me. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm not cool. If something's behind me, I can hit it with that. That would kind of make sense. But not that many things get behind me. Shooting a whole bunch of little angels and cherubs and stuff. Yep, still shooting. Throw something else at me that I can shoot. Yep, that's what that's what I get. These guys are tried off a Chowaniki and didn't make it. The spreader gun is really nice. It's a very efficient killing. Gun. That means absolutely nothing. Look at my projector of doom. And I'm assuming that that little meter at the bottom that fills up. Oh. Right. Hey, it's me. Okay. Well, that is Kiyun. I, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's pretty cool. And it was free. How can you beat that? Alright. Wrong button. Oh, and I missed the... Uh... Okay. Now they torture and kill the boy. Jeez. That vacuum cleaner didn't do you much good, did it? Alright, uh, GameEnthuse.com Podcast, check it out Video, subscribe to the page y You know the drill I'm out of here They showed me to play more I didn't think so Okay <laughs>